right, Bubba Cabal back. I'm going to talk to you today about a totally different dish, but before I do that, I've been getting some feedback since I put out the last video about coming up with all the spices, for example, for the Ethiopian dish. So, if you can't find all the spices, again, you can go to the store, you can get a product that's already made like this one. You just add a little oil to it, a little water, and uh, mix it up and you've got your spice. You can also change it, you can make it hotter if you want to, like you can put some adobe in it or some other chili or whatever, and you can, you can change it a little to make it a little sugar even, just to make it uh, the flavor that you would like. Okay, so today we're going to do something different for most people. I want to talk to you about eating foods that are good for you that maybe you don't normally eat. So today, I know a lot of people don't like mushrooms, but today what we're going to do is we're going to do this uh, mushroom dish sort of in the microbiotic tradition with a little slight twist that I'm going to do to it. This is a king trumpet mushroom dish that I put together. Let's see how it's done. Alright, so the mushroom of the hour is this one. This is called a king trumpet. It's pretty large. You see how it is. What I did to it was I sliced it up into almost like uh, kind of thick little wafers like this. And then along with that we have cremini or you can use white mushrooms. We have something called shimichi. Uh, which is uh, they come in a little bundle like that. You can tell by the little way the tops are made. We have something called straw, a straw hat mushroom. Back there I got portobellums. And so these mushrooms are going to make the basis of the dish. I also have uh, right here, this is uh, Chinese broccoli stems that I have chopped into little pieces. I got some carrots right there. Got some red onion right there, gonna use in there. I got some uh, yellow onion right there. You can use green onion, red onion, whatever you want to. I've got some chopped up uh, fresh uh, ginger right here. And in the back there, I have some shredded red cabbage that's gonna go in the dish. We're gonna make a little sauce for it. We're gonna add to that this nutritional yeast, and of course, I'm gonna use for my base a little bit of uh, the organic tamari back there. So we're going to take all of these and put them in a pan, but I'm going to start with the king trumpet mushrooms first, just for a minute. We're going to use a little bit of uh, sesame oil in the pan, and you'll see how this is done. All right, here we go. We're going to put some fire under that. We're going to put a little sesame oil in the pan. We're going to load in our king trumpets first. Flatten them a little bit, little bit. Won't take them long at all. Going to get them going there. I'm going to just do one side a little bit first. So while that's in there, I'm going to go ahead and put in the Chinese broccoli stems. I want the heat to soften them up. Same thing with the carrots. Now it won't take that long at all. And you'll notice I flip one over, you can see it's already browned a little bit. That's all I want. Now I'm just going to throw a little water in here create steam, put the rest of the stuff in the pan. Onion, straw hat, portobello, shimini, shimiji, a little bit of red onion, Stir that around a little bit, throw a little water in there. Now 
Now you can decide how much salt you want. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in it. Don't need much because I'm going to have a sauce for it. But a little bit just to make sure. All right, and then finally my red cabbage. Gonna put just enough water to create a good amount of steam for it. And it's almost ready. Doesn't take long at all. And the ginger, of course. I'll stir it around a little bit. It's already almost there. Don't want to cook our food too much. Retain both the flavor and the vitamin content. So that's why we're mostly going to use a little steam. That's already ready for me to move to the next item. Now for this gravy, I'm going to use some organic soy milk for the base. You could use oat milk or you could use almond milk or whatever. Won't take long for this to heat up. I'm going to add just a dash of organic sugar. just about ready for my tamari. Turn the fire out. Now I'm going to start adding a little bit of uh, nutritional yeast to it. A little bit higher than I realized. So I'm going to mix this yeast in here. Instead of putting flour in it, that's what's going to be making it a gravy-like taste. Now the amount of tamari I put in is going to determine how dark or light it is. I'm going to put just a little bit more. That's about where I want it, right about there. All I'm going to do now is to pour my gravy in the pan, stir it around, and it's there. And it's done. Now if you want to, you can add a little bit of green to it. Say you want a mushroom, but you want to add a little green. So I'm just going to use the leaves from the Chinese cabbage in here as my green food along with this dish. Chinese cabbage is going to uh, soften up very quickly, doesn't take a lot. And so, it'll be plenty soft to eat, just from the little heat I got on here. And that's how you do it. Alright, so there's the dish. I got a little brown rice, put a little uh, sesame oil in the pan, and uh, just a little touch of tamari, and some ginger. Whipped it up real quick in a pan, so I'd have a little rice to go along on the side with this dish. And that, my friends, is the trumpet mushroom dish that I love. <laughs>